The best part of waking up is arresting the cops who killed Breonna Taylor. Hello everyone and or welcome back. This is your friendly reminder that black lives still matter. I'm pretty sure you and I are both aware in this situation. It has been several months since I posted a video and honestly I don't have a huge platform so to speak here. I don't have a ton of subscribers so I wouldn't expect for this to really be the place where I do any sort of activism but I did still want to mention that at the beginning of the video so as to not just carry on as though nothing's happening in the world but I will link petitions to sign, resources for you to learn, just some general knowledge that's good to have if you are a non-black person just in general. I got a package a very lovely package in the mail and it was the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie collab. Now, here's the thing. This launch was, how do you say, a shit show. So basically what happened was too many people were trying to get on the site. After two hours or so, I just gave up checking, went about my day and then later on around, I wanna say five o'clock, I live in where it's mountain time so that would have been around four-ish Pacific time, I decided to give it a shot and try to get onto the website. So I got my pretty little ass in line, just like everybody else who wanted to. And I was waiting for a good 30 to 45 minutes, I wanna say. I kept trying to get the palette and a pair of eyelashes and my cart was getting emptied. I was trying to check out. It just kept giving me an error message. It was just a mess. And then finally, I told myself, you know what? I'm gonna give it five more minutes and then I'm gonna give up. And that's what I did. A couple hours later on a whim, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna check Pure's Twitter and see what's happening. I don't know what I did in a previous life to get this to work, but as soon as I clicked on their website, I wasn't put in line. There was still a queue on my computer. I was the 7,000th person in line. I just got into the website, got the palette and eyelashes and checked out and it worked. I don't know. Anyway, long story long, I got the palette and a pair of lashes. So today we're gonna be doing some eyeshadow and just talking about all things Raw Beauty Christie. If you don't know who she is, then you are truly missing out. This is her palette, I will show you. Now, this is the colorful and fun side here. Don't need you peeking at my living room. I just opened this this morning, so please be aware that she's brand new. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I got the palette. It was $34, or no, $38, $34. It's in the $30 range. And then I got the lovely lashes. So this is what they look like. They have the rose gold backing, which I know Christy had mentioned that the packaging is different. There was another pair of lashes, but I gotta say, I didn't love them, so I didn't get them. I did my base because if you watch any of my makeup content, then you will know it takes me about 10 years to do my base before I can even get into my eyeshadow. So let's jump into this video here, shall we? So I'm just gonna, obsessively touch my hair throughout this entire video. And I have carved out my brows, so I'm going to take a paint pot here. And I know this isn't probably what this brush is intended for, but I got this Sigma P89 Bake Precision Brush in a Sigma brush set at, I wanna say Marshall's once, and boy howdy, she is just lovely i i don't know what it is it's just like perfectly dense and so it makes it so easy to do this whereas before i would just use my finger in the interest of touching my face less i'm trying to use brushes more on my eyes especially because i don't know you just feel like you're not supposed to be jamming your fingers around your eyes man also sorry for any scratching noises you may hear the little blep is off to the side on his throne. I'm just gonna insert a picture of the swatches here because I don't want to sit here and swatch all the colors. So this is the neutral side of the palette. I just, I'm not too sure what I want to do. Here's my dilemma. I love how now I'm just deciding to hold it right side up instead of upside down as before. I do love a good purple cut crease action. I think this pink is very lovely. I would also venture to try these bad boys. I just don't know what I want to do today. There's so many choices with this beautiful palette. 
that. Okay, enough yammering away. I'm just gonna take a big, well not too big, but I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I think, start over here on the neutral side, there's this shade called Moo Point, which is like, almost sort of like a very light mauve, ooh, holy kickback, kind of purpley color. So that's what I'm gonna do for my initial transition shade. I wish that initially I had heeded Christie's advice and just tapped it gently instead of trying to <laughs> swirl my brush around because look what I have done. It was in this moment I realized I done fucked up. Let's just learn from our mistake and move on. What a lovely color. Oh my goodness. Can I also just say, anybody else just not really be doing their makeup these days? Especially because at work I have to wear a mask and it's hot. I just don't see the sense in doing even the top half of my makeup. So I just have it. What? Uh time. I want to say at this point I'm going to be switching over to this here colorful side. All the shade names are references to things that Chrissy says on her channel a lot or life things. Uh, for instance, like this is a drawing that she did of her husband Zach. It's just my heart, you know? I gotta say, with the beauty community I feel so often we as consumers are, you know, led to buy things from creators and then later it comes out that they're like, I don't know, racist or just a terrible person in general. But this is one of the first collabs that I've ever bought that I'm just so pleased to be able to support Christy. I'm so proud of her. Like, I can't say it enough. I don't think any of us can say it enough. Congratulations, Christy. I'm not sure that she'll ever see this, but if she does, congratulations. And she announced that she's having a baby this year. It's just, it's what she deserves in the best way. I'm going to take this here freshly cleaned brush. I did clean my brushes today, except this very dirty one that I'm sure you guys can see on the top here. Just don't mind that. I'm gonna take the shade Cafe Disco. It's this beautiful shimmery color. And another thing I do wanna mention is that I appreciate that there's predominantly mattes in the, this palette because so often I will get palettes and I just never use this, well not never, but I hardly use the shimmers. So I, I gotta say, it's so refreshing to have a palette that I know I'm gonna get so much use out of just because it's exactly what I'm looking for. Wow. Wow. I quite enjoy this. I thought that this color based on the swatches and stuff was gonna be real pinky and just not my jam, but it's quite nice. I do like it. Boy, what a color. Sorry for the change up in lighting. I'm just using natural light right now because I was too lazy to set up my box lights, but it's fine. Everything's fine, we're fine. Sun. <laughs> also, I wanted to mention, so because of everything that happened on launch day and it being so atrocious, they sent me, and I'm assuming everyone else, a free eyeliner and a 25% off coupon. So I will be using this later. But for now, let's stick to eyeshadow because I'm gonna start getting real distracted real fast. Here we go, this is my greenish one. So I'm gonna take a somewhat pointy blendy brush and I'm gonna pick up the shade Garden State. It's almost kind of like emeraldy green color. I'm just gonna tap into it because I'm scared. I'm just gonna go way too hard in the paint. And by paint, I mean eyeshadow. I can't say enough how beautiful these eyeshadows are. Also, no, I've never really used Pure's eyeshadows to my knowledge. I did today though use their complexion. It's like a cream contour stick. What a shade, what a shade, what a mighty good shade. Wow. Wow. Also something that Christy did mention in her video is some of the shades in these, I want to say these because it's these pigments, some of the shades in this palette could stain your eye. So I believe that's why technically these are not eye safe or something like that. However, these are cruelty free and vegan. So if you're into that, do with that information what you will. I'm just going to take my blank slate that I got at Marshall's. I also realized upon watching, I think I was re-watching an old video. I talk about TJ Maxx and Marshalls a lot, but honestly, I don't understand why if you can get the same thing for less, why you wouldn't. Next up, I'm gonna take the shade Hurtful, which is a dark blue color. 
and just put that on the outer corner and wing it out and bring it into the crease because as I do almost every day this is gonna be a half cut crease look this is sort of a spin-off of a look that I recreated well I have recreated I should say I'll put the photo here and link Jackie Ina's video below, but she did a look. It was originally with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Really, if you layer some of these colors, you could achieve quite a similar look. I think what I'll do is keep with this all matte eye here. I'm not gonna do a formal cut crease. I'm gonna do a soft cut crease per se. So I'm gonna take the white shade. It is the color Lumos and just pack that on me lid. Is that Mr. L Would you like to come say hello? Yeah. And leave your special gift on the chair? <laughs> hello. Hello, baby. You look very beautiful. Thank you. Back to our regularly scheduled program after a very special gift. No teehees? Okay. I think I'm done up top there. Ooh, actually, before I forget, let me go ahead and do this here in the corner highlight. I'm going to take that same shade, Cafe Disco, that I used to highlight my brow bone. Ooh, very soft. And use it to highlight my inner corner. Boy, howdy. What a day. What a good heckin' day. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go for some more neutral colors, which is on this side, P.S. The more natural side has rose gold writing and the fun side has like a holographic writing on it. I think I'm going to take the shade. Hi, in case you didn't know, I'm the most indecisive person ever. Mood point, because why not? Tap it this time instead of digging her in there and start working it with the same crease brush, but this time on the lower lash line. Because I wanna go in with that lovely brown liner that they sent me for my inconvenience, I'm gonna take, this is a Japanesque 346 brush. It's basically like a flat, I think it's called a definer brush. I don't know. Now I'm gonna take the shade, you're not my real dad, because why not? This looks okay, right guys? And then going back in with that same blending brush, from Moo Point. Now we look less like we've been crying. All right, kids, so here's the tea. This is a, one of the old Twisteroo liners. So I'm just going to put their liner into my water. Oh. Hello. I'm just kind of blend the two together. Am I, am I attractive? So now that that's done, I'm gonna take quick pause, put on my upper liner and mascara, and then come back for the lash portion of our show. Oh hey, and guess who also realized that they didn't have a lip on the entire video, so that's a thing now too. So this is what we're looking at. I'm running out of natural light here, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up as quickly as possible. Last thing are these lovely, literally, lashes. Let's put these bad boys on, shall we? They look like this. Ooh, ah, very nice. Ooh. What a nice flexible band there. And see if I have to trim them because I may very well have to do that. Oh, hello. Ooh. Bitch. Look at me if I want to. Clearly, I have been watching way too much TikTok. I keep thinking this can't get any better and then it does. I just, wow. Wow. I think, probably not now because I don't want to fluff it up. But I think mayhaps in the future, I will trim these. They're a little bit too long, but I don't want to cut too much. So I'm just going to hold off on that. Let's see if I can do the other one. <gasps> I did it. Oh my goodness. I'm shook it. Not to suck my own titty or anything, but I am pretty freaking cute. What do I think? I think this is fantastic. I love this. I will say that in all seriousness, I know that word gets thrown around a lot, but I truly mean that. I love this. I love these lashes. As I'm like wearing them and blinking a little bit, they're, they are too wide. Although I have these big old eyes, 
I like to keep my lashes at what I would consider the equivalent of a three-quarter sleeve So I don't like it to come all the way in You know sometimes lashes will angle inwards and it's in the fronts of your eye. I'm not about that I do. I just really enjoy this. I love the colors I love that you can choose to either do something fun and this is also so space friendly. So I think honestly, this will be my new travel palette. This gives me the best of both worlds, honestly. A lot of other companies have like this massive palette to carry around in your bag. I appreciate this, this is recyclable. So once you are done using it, apparently you can recycle it. There's a mirror on both sides. It's a good mirror, I'd say. The one criticism I will say is that I am not a hundred percent sure that while these are neutral shades that they would work on all skin tones so I would imagine some of these my whole heart I would assume that someone of a deeper complexion might not get as much use out of it there is really good versatility but it's sort of similar to my feeling on the white of the palette Lumos yes it can be used to lighten up some shades but I'm not sure for anyone who is dark skin to like deep dark, how much use they would actually get out of it. But other than that, I do really love this. I think this is definitely gonna be a new favorite for me just because it's so versatile and it's so compact and it's just, it's, it's pretty great. I would venture to say that I may try their foundation because that's something else that Raw Beauty Christie has recommended and she to me is an honest creator so I don't feel that she would just say that for the sake of sales or anything like that. To my knowledge she doesn't have a code with them so it wouldn't really make sense to do that. I'm very pleased with my purchase. It was worth the hours of struggling and trying to get and honestly, I ordered this last Sunday when it launched and it got here probably yesterday. So pretty great turnaround time. I didn't have any issues with customer service. Again, I'm not saying that there aren't. That was just my experience. I'm very happy to have been able to support Christy. If you would like to watch more of my makeup content, I will have a playlist here and a whole slew of other videos that you can watch. I do a lot of vegan food reviews. I do Vlogmas, which it's already gonna be August, so I guess maybe I should just put my Christmas tree up. Who knows? Time flies when you're in the fiery pits of hell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you do, you can like and subscribe down below. Don't forget, sign those petitions. It really does help. I will see you guys, hopefully, sooner than the last time. Okay, bye! Dude, lay down. Come on, baby. Maybe I should just use this palette mirror. Would that be easier? Yeah, okay. I should have prepared better for this. Give me this dog! Makeup does not have rules, merely suggestions. You know?